Globalization, a concept that suddenly appears in the midst of conventional society and countries that are trying to build social, economic, and political condition to provide welfare to their people. Countries are required to interact globally with other countries and bind themselves with various cooperation, both bilateral and multilateral. Surprisingly, since globalization was equaled, countries in the world have become fragmented until the term third world appears, which is synonymous with economic, culture, and infrastructure development backward. And countries in the third world have a lot of debt to developed countries that own capital, which are also the rulers of global markets. Countries in the third world can be destroyed instantly when developed countries withdraw capital. The system that destroys the economy, politics, and social in the third world is known as the capitalist system. Countries in the third world seem to have a high dependence on capital, rules, and system imposed by developed countries. Superpower Technological modernity as one of the instruments in globalization to facilitate interaction and access to information globally has an impact to society in the third world, which is slowly subject to the concept of modernity, which changed culture, mindset, language, scrap some tradition, and change lifestyle to become very modern, consumptive and money-oriented. Yes. People are very active to raise money, want to be rich, or at least be able to fulfill their desire to buy goods that are in line with trend. The trend that capital is created to gain market share. Indigenization and knowledge reproduction of capitalism in power networks in the third world. Capitalism is a product of knowledge that is constantly being updated academically. No political policy is born free from the influence of the work of the scientific or intellectual community. Production and interpretation of modernized knowledge, capitalism is much influenced by the academic work of scientists. Since the 20th century, social science in the third world have been dominated by modernization theory discourse which has universal advantages. Since then, the concentration of social scientist studies to produce new knowledge, new technologies is disseminated through textbooks and scientific journals that contain the results of their research. The goal is to legitimize the colonization of science in the third world. It is argued that the theories produced by Western scientists can help liberate countries' backwardness toward a material human civilization that truly respect individual dignity. Why does capitalism exist and spread widely in the third world countries? Criticizing the universal nature of the capitalist system has been done a lot, but how the capitalist system is produced to be adopted and replicated or reproduced in the context of the development of countries in the third world is an important study, especially with regard to the placement of the capitalist system as a development model. There is another argument that studies on the practice of the capitalist system have been carried out by Yoshihara Kunio, Peter Berger, Richard Robinson, Andre Gunnar Frank, James Petras, Andre Goodman, and Fadi Hadis. They place capitalism as an economic system, which in the third world becomes a new colonial system. What are the challenges faced by social scientists when looking at studies of the capitalist system which are often seen from the practical aspect? Studies on the capitalist system are mostly seen from the practical aspect and use a political economy approach. Therefore, social scientists face challenges when viewed from their practice, work, and thoughts, namely the theories that are produced 
and develop generally come from criticism, interpretation, including exposure of the result of their scientific works such as research, which is often used also to build public opinion, so that in the end, new understanding and new knowledge will emerge. What does the capitalist system mean for an open society, as stated in Karl Popper's theory? Capitalism as a global system has experienced a severe crisis due to the emergence of what Karl Popper called an open society. Based on the theory of Karl Popper, Soros said that current capitalism has endangered open society, and this is the beginning of his critique of the capitalist system. The system of capitalism, in Francis Fukuyama's view, is the end of history, which means that there is no system to replace it. How can globalization be a forcing force that weakens third world countries? Through the discourse of globalization, the development of capitalism in its current condition is to build the myth that the global capitalism encourages the growth of a democratic political system as initiated by Lipset. The forcing force of globalization, as suspected by Ryan, can have an impact on the development of conditions at the local level. The relations between the state and the market are constructed through their interactions. This shows the adoption of knowledge of capitalism in the third world epistemologically has weaknesses. Manuel Castells explained that the global economic system is one of three historical phenomena that drastically changed the values of world civilization. Meanwhile, the other two are the information technology revolution and the new economic product, namely the weightless economy. The movement of this global economic system has succeeded in breaking through geographical boundaries, so it is called the borderless economy. The global capitalist economy system has treated the world as a unified whole economy entity with a concept of one planet and one need. How does the capitalist system work to hegemony the world and create a gap for countries in the world to be included in the category of poor countries and rich countries? Capitalism did not develop at the same time, but in the same way capitalism developed in all parts of the world and economic cycles did not occur smoothly and smoothly in all parts of the world economy, including Indonesia. Economic domination through the World Economic System version of the World Bank, IMF, and few other world-famous economic institutions has in fact widened the gap between groups of poor countries and small groups of rich countries. The capitalist system was built for 500 years and has managed to exist in all corners of the world, because it becomes easy to find new paradigms to criticize the capital system, because due to the hegemony of the system, the role of the state in defending the public interest should be adopted. Can capitalism be separated from the claim of universality? Capitalism, however, is difficult to separate from its claim to universality. Whatever the object of social science analysis, space and time variables in the history of capitalism in non-Western countries are in dilemma between universality and particularity, and nomothetic versus ideographic, which continues to be a critical debate to this day. Social science are included in the hegemonization process through the structure of capitalism. <laughs> <laughs>